Hello everyone, in this video today I'm going to show you four different ways to fix some of the playback issues with DaVinci Resolve. So if you're having laggy playback, choppy playback, or you have some crashing occasionally, we're going to show you four ways you can reduce that problem in DaVinci Resolve. So before you start anything, make sure you have the latest version of Windows, the latest version of DaVinci, make sure your BIOS is updated, and finally, make sure you have the latest graphics drivers for your computer as well. They're all important prerequisites. So if you haven't done those, do those first, then jump back over to this video. So once you have DaVinci Resolve open and you have your project ready, just go to the playback tab. And here we're gonna do the first two options. So the first one you have is proxy handling. So make sure you have it set to prefer proxies. So playback, proxy handling, prefer proxies. Once that's set, you'll be able to use proxies and it will help with some of your playback issues. The next one here is the timeline proxy resolution. By default, it's usually set to full, so change this to either half or quarter. Experiment with what's going to work best for you, but in the worst case scenario, quarter is going to be the best option. So moving on to option number three, this is an important one as well. So go to file, go down to project settings, and then set your timeline resolution down from 4K or 1080p, whatever you're using, down to something like 720. So this here is another really easy way. Just set it. Click save and you're done. You can still export your project in whatever size you want. So this is just for the timeline. And the final one is in Windows settings. So just go over to your start menu, go to settings. From the settings menu, go to system, display, scroll down to graphics. And here you'll have a list of apps or programs that you currently have installed and their performance settings. So here we have DaVinci Resolve set to high performance. So just click on it once, expand it to options. And here, normally it'll be set to let Windows decide and just make sure it's set to performance. Once you've done that, click save and you're done. If you don't see DaVinci Resolve on this list, you can simply add it. Just click browse at the top here and then navigate all the way to the DaVinci folder. So I'm pretty sure it will be under C, Program Files, Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the list, you'll see it here, Resolve EXE. Just double click on that and it will add it to the list. Then you can go to Options and set it to High Performance Mode. Anyway, that's pretty much all of the easy, quick solutions that will solve this problem. As I said earlier, make sure you do the prerequisites first and that will eliminate any other issues. If you're using a computer with Intel graphics, having the latest drivers is really important because DaVinci does have some problems with stability with Intel, but apart from keeping everything up to date, there's not much else you can do with those issues for now. Anyway, that wraps up another guide. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Cheers, everyone.